In a move that has sent shockwaves through the veteran community Prince Harry, the supposed founder of the Invictus Games, has reportedly been severed from all future involvement with the event. Scott Moore, the newly appointed CEO of the Invictus Games Foundation, has allegedly made a clean break effectively sidelining Harry from the competition he so passionately created. This decision raises serious questions about the future of the games and the complicated legacy of Prince Harry's involvement. News of the split comes just months before the 2025 Invictus Games, scheduled to take place in Vancouver and Whistler, Canada. Harry established the games in 2014 as a platform for wounded, injured, and sick veterans to compete in adaptive sports, fostering a spirit of resilience and camaraderie. His personal connection to the military, his own experiences of training and deployments fueled a deep empathy that resonated with participants. However, in recent years, Harry's relationship with the Invictus Games has become increasingly strained. His decision to step back from his senior royal duties and his subsequent relocation to the United States raised concerns about his future involvement. Furthermore, some reports suggested a growing discomfort within the veteran community, with the perceived marketization of the games, with Harry and Meghan Markle's brand and potentially overshadowing the core mission. Scott Moore, a seasoned sports television executive with a proven track record, was brought in to steer the Invictus Games into a new era. His focus is reportedly on streamlining operations, expanding sponsorships, and broadening the game's global reach. This strategic shift might explain the decision to distance the games from Harry whose royal status could be seen as a potential distraction from the athletic competition itself. However, the move has drawn sharp criticism. Many veterans feel a deep loyalty to Harry and view him as an integral part of the game's identity. His personal story of overcoming challenges and his close connection to the military were seen as a powerful motivator for participants. Removing him entirely could alienate this core constituency and fundamentally alter the character of the event. Furthermore, concerns have been raised about the potential commercialization of the Invictus Games under Moore's leadership. While increased funding is crucial for the game's sustainability, some worry that the focus will shift from the veterans' experiences to profit margins and viewership numbers. This could erode the game's unique spirit and transform it into a mere sporting spectacle. The Invictus Games Foundation has yet to officially comment on the reported split with Prince Harry. However, the decision is sure to have a significant impact on the event. Only time will tell if the games can retain their original spirit and purpose without Harry's direct involvement. This situation highlights the delicate balance between innovation and tradition. The Invictus Games need to evolve to remain relevant and financially robust. However, straying too far from its core values and the personal connection Harry established could alienate its core audience and dilute its powerful message of resilience. The future of the Invictus Games hangs in the balance and only time will tell if it can thrive without its foundation.